Hello, everybody. This is Ming Chen. Hi, I'm Mike Zapsik from AMC's Comic Book Man. And you're watching AFK, the AFK show, our favorite show on the planet. One of. One of. One of. One of. So you're, you're, you're watching the right show. Keep watching and keep watching. And keep watching. And keep watching. Don't stop. speaker against obesity. I've been um, acting in modeling for about three years now and The Walking Dead has just been like one of the biggest opportunities that I've, I've gotten so far. But I've been on a couple other TV shows and movies as well. Um, the movie 42, the TV show Resurrection, uh, Joyful Noise, uh, Necessary Roughness. Uh, the movie Let's Be Cops just came out. I was in that too. Um, Originals, Vampire Diaries. And the list goes on a little bit longer. <laughs> Hello? Oh, yeah. just uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it. <laughs> yeah. That's for the camera. <laughs> um, my name is Tashe West. Um, I'm an actor, dancer, music producer, director. Um, I started in high school. I went to a performing arts high school, so that's pretty much where I learned all my nicks and knacks, and I am pursuing it, currently pursuing it now. That's awesome. And where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, but I was raised in South Carolina. Cool, cool. <laughs> okay, so to start off, since you're kind of best known for The Walking Dead, why don't you go tell us a little bit about your time on the set there? It was just really like a really awesome opportunity and experience that's led to so many different things. And just like working with the cast and the crew, like everybody is just so humble and nice. Like it's a serious work environment too, but everybody's so like nice and just, it's kind of like a family environment. And it's like, I learned so much just from, you know, learning how the, the different processes and, and the extensive process that goes into making the uh, TV show what it is. And just like being able to be on the set during that time period and just being able to learn, it's been like, it's been an amazing opportunity really. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was, it was, it was more so work than fun. Uh, everybody who was on set was really dedicated to the craft of making the show the best it could be. Uh, the makeup was cool. Um, getting into that zombified makeup every day was pretty awesome. Sometimes it was pretty tiring because we had to wake up at like, uh, 3 a.m. to get there at 5 a.m and then be in the makeup for two and a half hours. So that would be, that was pretty hard. Then to be outside in the cold with no shirt on yeah. and ripped jeans. <laughs> um, and this was during the time when um, Georgia was going through that whole freeze, oh. freeze situation. <laughs> so I'm over <laughs> so, <laughs> Right? <laughs> That's what they kept trying to tell me, but I was like, uh. <laughs> Um, but it was pretty cool. Uh, the the crew, the cast, everybody was so nice and so welcoming, and um, it was nice. No, no Hollywood or anything. It was uh, just a very good work environment. That's awesome. So yeah, tell us a little bit um, more about the makeup process because you guys look like totally different people. I mean, you don't Thank have arms, you. don't have jaws. So 
<laughs> Tell us a little bit more about being transformed into those characters. I mean, when I first looked in the, into the mirror, it was a surprise for me as well. <laughs> I was like, whoa. You know, um, but it was, it took uh, two and a half hours and they um, basically um, did a whole, um, well, before they did the process, they, they casted our face. So they did like a, a face cast that took like four hours to match our faces perfectly. And then every day on set, they would take a mask that they formed from that cast and put it on top of us. So it was prosthetics that created the, um, the jawless effect. Um, if you look in our photos, um, it's not that we don't have jaws, but it's more so uh, an optical illusion because we don't have necks in our photos. So the makeup makes it look like this. <laughs> uh, um, but getting into the makeup was um, pretty, sometimes relaxing, but more so tiring because it was so early in the morning and I would fall asleep. Um, and they'd be, you can't fall asleep, where you gonna mess it up? <laughs> this is $10,000 worth of makeup on you, and you fall asleep. I'm like, I'm sorry, but it's like 4 a.m. Y'all aren't talking or nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was cool. Like, it was cool, but like you said, it was very tiring, like, sitting back and just watching them do it. Because, like, you know, it really was early. And, like, we had to, you know, pretty much take our mind somewhere else while they just, you know, did their work. And it's like a, you want to touch it kind of thing and, like, see what's going on. But every time you touch it, it, like, they kind of, like, slap your hand. Like, no, don't do that, you know. <laughs> like, you're in high school or something. Again, it's just, like, you can't even chew gum in the classroom or something. Like, but we couldn't even move our mouths because, you know, like, it was so tight and knit on our face that, you know, we couldn't really do anything. We had to just pretty much just stay there and become zen while they did the job. But it was like, you know, it kind of took some getting used to, too, as well with the lenses, not being able to see anything, because we were completely blind, like, during filming, too. A lot of people didn't realize that. And um, just having to, like, put up with the breathing that you have to go through, like, because it's kind of hard to breathe under there as well. And it's like just pretty much trying to train your mind and your body to not panic because you can't breathe, you can't see. And once you, like, get over that phobia, it's not that bad, though. But it's, it's a lot of hard work, and it can be somewhat fun. <laughs> and definitely hard to not be able to see and then being drugged by Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> like that tugging, when you see her tugging, that's really tugging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, were you guys fans of The Walking Dead comic before this? I actually never saw it or heard of anything about it until after I got done filming with them. And um, we also did, after we got done doing the Entertainment Weekly photo shoot, too, and like um, I had no idea anything about it and like it was so funny because people were telling me like do you know what you just did and do you know who you were and I was like no who was I like I don't know what this is because like when they first even told me like what I would be is like they were like hey we're gonna be a zombie I was like okay fine so I'm putting my resume whatever let me get over it and do it but like to have it become what it's become now it's like it's been nothing sort of a, a surprise and a blessing honestly. Yeah, I didn't know anything about it as well. Um, when I got the call, I was like, okay, you know? <laughs> so you're gonna cut off my arms and chop off my jaw? <laughs> That's cool. Uh, but when I was walking around saying there, I was like, yo, yo, you don't know who you are. I was like, I don't. <laughs> But after after the fact and after it, the the um, episodes came out and all that, then I got a clue and I was like, oh wow! And I became a true fan of the show, so it was pretty cool. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about working with some of the other actors. Working with the actors was like I said, it was it was work um, every day. Um, you think. You know, like you see on TV, uh, the blooper reels and all that, the fun joking and all that kind of stuff. On that side, it is serious. <laughs> Everybody is there to do their job. People are dying every day. You know, <laughs> zombies are eating each other. I remember um, um, watching uh, uh, Andrea, and she was um, preparing for her role, and she's just sitting in a corner, like, doing this whole thing, getting ready. You know, and I was just like, wow, this is really serious. <laughs> I'm over here doing the, um, the moonwalk and, yeah, in the zombie outfit, and everybody else is just like super serious. But um, it was cool. Like, like it was, the, I think the best experience was getting to eat with all the main cast and actually get to talk, talk with them. And they were fans of our makeup and our characters, and they were taking photos of us. They were like, wow, I just got to take a photo of you. This is so cool. And I'm like, no, I got to take a photo of you. <laughs> so, yeah. How did y'all eat? 
they actually um they had to peel back our faces okay. so we could like get to, like get to our mouths. Kind of weird, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny. A funny story with that um when we did the entertainment weekly photo shoot um after we got done, you know we were um, we're about to go rush and go eat something to eat, and me I was so hungry that day that I forgot to go to this um the prop um with well, special effects trailer again. Um, so they could remove my jaw so I could eat again. <laughs> and um, I rushed over there so fast that when I got my tray and sat down, I was trying to like eat. And I was wondering like, why, like, why wasn't going in my mouth? And like, I was like, I paused and I was like, you are the biggest idiot in the world. I had to get up and go back to the trailer so they could move my jaw. Well, put it back so I could eat. <laughs> so, yeah. Questions out here? That's actually food, yeah. It's like food they dress up, like they don't want you to swallow it, but like um, you're actually like chewing, like when you see like those entrails and stuff that looks like, you know, ground up meat and stuff, that's what it is. You know, it's, and that's what makes it so authentic because they're actually eating and chewing it in their mouths when they do it, so it's, it's real food. But I couldn't tell you because I couldn't eat. <laughs> my parts weren't really because they eat it. Yeah, <laughs> I was thankful they like my job. <laughs> Yeah. You have this right here. I just want to see. You said you Get to it. Look. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. What you want? <laughs> oh, what you want to see? I just want to see. Show me your Jackson. Go ahead. My Jackson? You made Sachin sing. So you're getting on me. You made who sing? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. 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 Oh, wow. Um, huh? Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay, so you want me to dance? All right, let's give a round of applause. Come yes, on, guys. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know what to dance. <laughs> okay, so... Man, uh, someone needs to, like, sing a song. Give him some music. I know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dancer. He sings. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> All right, any other questions? Yeah. A 500. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Only thing I can tell you is your mind is going to explode inside of your mind like ten times when you watch the first episode. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. So, have you had any other convention experience? Um, we've actually been touring like all year doing different conventions. We um had a convention in Connecticut uh, about two weeks ago. Um, we had we were in uh, Pensacola, Florida. Um, where else? I can't even remember. It's been so many. Uh, We've pretty much been all over the U.S. and actually next week we have to be in Alabama, then we have to be in um, West Virginia, then, uh, Lord, so many, I can't remember. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to be back in Texas again in November too, and we're going to be in Tennessee in November, so it's been an awesome experience. What was Michelle like? like what was she like? Contrary from her character, she's such a nice and sweet and humble lady. Like, Aww. when she's in character, she's like, you know, stern and like, you know, that, that tough, that, that bad, Excuse me, kids, badass. But she's like, she's really, she's like, really like an amazing person, like um, on and off um, camera, and like she's like one of the humblest, nicest actresses I've ever met in my life, honestly. Yes. Uh, whenever you're working with like, uh, like show, like, is it like fun, like being, being there? Like, like, it's work. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, we were blind and being pulled on a chain. <laughs> so, <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, uh, you talking about how many times they had to chop off our head? How many takes? Oh, uh, I was only killed once. I've only been one zombie. Same here. How many takes did it take, though? <laughs> um, I think we dropped like 50 times. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I believed you were dead, but I didn't feel you were dead. So do it again. Amber? <laughs> 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 um, it was it was pretty much they would they would take us through it in the beginning to show us what we were doing, and then it was. It was just God. <laughs> he just had to be like, pray you don't fall on your face. You know, and if you do kind of stumble, it's a part of the character. I actually never fell. I stumbled, but yeah. I didn't fall. <laughs> but that was a part of the characterization. You know, zombies stumble and they they yeah. walk like that, so it helps. Gotta sell it. Yeah. I guess I missed. Why were you blind? Um, we have fake eyes. Yeah. Um, so um, cause the prosthetics were so thick that our eyes would look weird coming out of it, so they had to put in a marble eye. Oh, no. <laughs> it was a marble eye. Yes? Um, may we play in the zombie book? Lurches, but I want to see your lurches. Lurches? Yes. Do you zombie walk for us? See the walk. How do you train to walk? Um, they have a zombie school, but um, which he he went to zombie school, but I was told to walk like I'm drunk, so that's how I walk. Like Terrell told me, like when I first walked in, he was like, "Okay, contort your body and walk like you're drunk." Woo! That's a plus for that. <laughs> so, what is zombie school, and why did you have to go to it, but not you? Um, I don't know why. He had to go and I didn't, but um, zombie school is where all the zombies go and learn how to be a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> zombie <laughs> University. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you have a question? Yes. Going back to where you were walking through the course and they had to show you further your flying, what is going through your head as you're supposed to see walking? What are you thinking? Honestly, I'm trying to think about, you know, where am I walking? And I'm just praying that I walk correctly to the point where I don't fall. And it's like you have to like you know stay in that state of mind that you know you are kind of inebriated walking, but at the same time you're you're trying to stay focused as to as to remembering where you walked beforehand when he took he took you through the walkthrough, and it's like really just trying to remember like how you walked and where you walked and like a lot of memorization. Um, that day it was like freezing though, so Nicole was also in my mind. It was <laughs> it was very cold. Um, and act that day we didn't have the um, fake eyes. We had these huge contacts that were like this big that they had to pop in your eye, um, and th that was freaking me out too. So that was scary. It was cold. Um, we were walking through some dark for forest with a whole bunch of fog. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was a rush. It was a rush. <laughs> <laughs> so since Walking Dead, how has that kind of launched you guys' careers? Um, for me, it's really just helped me focus in that I um, want to focus on shooting horror films in the beginning of my career because I am a director. Um, I'm more so trying to do behind the scenes than be an actor. So I'm really like going after shooting my first feature next year. So I'll be in it. Nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's really um, it's helped me a lot with um, getting other featured opportunities and um, with other movies as well, because um, it's actually helped me get uh, uh, two pr two primary lead, three leading parts in the, the, the last three pilots that I just shot um, in Atlanta, and um, it's really just helped me get more exposure and it's it's just been amazing really. Can you tell us anything about the pilots that you're shooting? Um, the, um, one of them is called um, the Doll um, uh, Dollhouse Dollhouse Horror, and I'm actually filming it in um, San Francisco, and it's like a mix between. Um, uh, if you're familiar with Halloween, the last Halloween that came out when the kid, when the college kid had to stay into the house and um, to stay in the house on with Michael Myers and stay the night, and it's a kind of a mix between that and um, uh, what is it, Amityville Horror, 
and uh, it's like, uh, I can't really tell you too much about it, but it's just, it's gonna be like an awesome horror experience, and my character, he's, um, he's, he's, he's kind of, he's a lot like me, so it's not gonna be too much for me to get into that kind of role. You were on 42? I was on 42 as well, yeah. Um, I played um, one of the featured um, civilians. I was arguing with, uh, with, like towards the ending scene, I was arguing with the ticket um, master, well, ticket guy, and I was trying to get into the game to see Jackie Robinson, and I was just really arguing back and forth with him. We shot it about like two or three years ago. It was also one of the first things I ever did, and um, I have some photos of me um, in it as well. Well, when that I was, was really exciting, because actually, uh, the guy who played Jackie Robinson just did the, the James Brown He did, yeah, and when I found that out, it was like another, like, just imaginary high five to myself, like, hey, good job, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> like, definitely. No, I was like, I, well, I don't, I mean, I didn't, I don't know the actual number, but it felt like it was like zero degrees outside. Like, after each take, they would run over with those warming pads and like rub our bodies. And I'd be like, <laughs> and they're like, it's okay, it's okay. I did feel like a superstar. Yeah. Because it was really cool. Everybody would run with the um, blankets and the warming, bo the um, hand warmers, but. Yeah, I feel like James Brown. Woo! So um, like wipe me down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it got really cool, like really cool. And then we were shirtless, so that oh, just man, didn't help at all, man. at all. And there was like a little mist out there that uh, it was too much. It took me back to it. <laughs> <laughs> the good days and the bad days are in the morning, right? Huh? I said it reminds you of the good days, but the, the yeah, yeah, days, yeah, like, yeah. The yeah. Days. Um, it was four or five. I think it was about, I think it was five. Mm -hmm. Were you able to hang out uh, for the whole season, or when you were done? Um, when, when we were done, we were done. Yeah. It's, it's, it's work. Yeah. So uh, there's no, no no room to just hang out. Yeah. You're not supposed that. to be there. You need to be <laughs> gone, yeah. No, uh -uh. I think you mentioned Vampire Diaries. It's uh -huh. like the greatest show of all time. <laughs> <laughs> I was in um, season five actually during the prom scene, and um, it was it was a lot of fun because you know I met um uh, I cannot remember his name, but he's Ian like Summerhold. Ian Summerhold. Yeah, he's oh. like he's like such an awesome guy. He's um he was like really cool because like um I was actually like in the like part of the scene with him, and like in between take like he'd be walking back and forth and like cracking jokes and like you know laughing, <laughs> and I'm like like this guy like he's so cool. He was like a jerk on TV, but he's a cool guy. <laughs> But it was, it was a really a lot of fun. Like it was like something that just came to me. I just submitted my photos one day, and they called me back and like, "Hey man, we like your look, so come in and be a part of prom." And I'm like, "Fine, you know, why not?" Yeah. The CW is really cyclical. Like they like to use the same like people until you get like your main role. Exactly. So, yeah. Is that something that you think happens? Do you, are you talking to any of the CW? I'm auditioning for numerous things, so honestly, it's waiting on a phone call. Honestly, so you know, like as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more. <laughs> I don't want anybody to jump out and sue me. I can't tell you too much. <laughs> Trust me, I'm working at TV station. Oh, that works. <laughs> you understand. That's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Did you ever get the movie You sure can. <laughs> this guy is working this convention. Yeah. He's gonna be a star by the end of it. Yeah. Were y'all in the flashback scene? Was that y'all at the table? The we weren't, you know, there was uh, two other actors, two other um, different actors. They said we actually looked too young to play the part. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 23. I'm 25. So, you guys, what made you guys be like, oh, I'm gonna just wake up one day and do acting? Or was it like, it's my whole, you know, it's been my life? Yeah, for me, uh, I've been doing this since eighth grade. Um, I went to a performing art performing arts high school where we studied dance, violin, played violin for 10 years. Um, I danced ballet um, and I took acting as well as film um, for uh, five years. And then I went to college and did the exact same thing. <laughs> and I'm still doing it. Uh, so I kind of already knew what I wanted to do um, from an early age. And I was privileged to be in the family that will push that for me.
Actually, it's just something that kind of, it just it led me to it, honestly, because um, I've been doing it for like three years now. And like, um, as a child, younger, well, you know, a lot younger, I always thought about it, but I never thought it was possible, because I actually used to be overweight. I used to, use, um, I used to weigh 300 pounds, actually, and um, after I lost the weight, it was like something that people were kind of throwing at me, like, because I used to work regular jobs, you know, and like, I always have people like, you know, sending me, giving me cards and say, you should come model, you should do this and that. And it's like something that one day I just, I decided to call out to, to a couple of the different um, agencies that were offering me stuff. And um, after I started calling out to them and stuff and started doing a couple modeling jobs and um, I was walking out of um, college one day at Georgia State and um, a girl pulled me to the side and she asked me, did I want to be in a movie? And I was like, at first, you know, what kind of movie? Like, I didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and no, she, said, um, she was like, no, it's a real movie. It's, um, it actually turned out to be the movie Joyful Noise. And they were filming it down at the Georgia Dome and um, I was out of class, so I was like, you know, hey, why not, you know? And I just went down and um, I met some of the casting people and um, they were like, hey, okay, we like your face, okay, we want you to be in this scene, or do you want to do it? And I was like, you know, sure, why not? And after I did that one thing, that's when I, they started sending me more emails with different stuff and I've just been doing it ever since. Where were, what were you in Joyful Noise? I was in the club scene with um, Kiki Palmer and um, the other gentleman. Um, uh, I was like um, one of the, just one of the other extras in that. Like we we're just dancing and stuff, and like we were having a good time to the same song about eight hours, you know, like acting <laughs> like we were. It was a fresh song that we were constantly happy to be there when we were all tired. But um, it was um, a really awesome opportunity, and um, it really opened up my eyes to a lot of things, and it's led to me to led me to the point where I am now. <laughs> this is what I was doing the whole time. <laughs> like I was drunk, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, the first place we met, um, well, actually, we were on set, but we didn't get a chance to talk. And we actually didn't get a chance to talk, talk until um, the Entertainment Weekly photo shoot that we did. And that's when we actually got a chance to talk and, and um, you know, do conventions and everything together as well. Yeah. But who is your best friend and why is it him? <laughs> who is my best friend? And why is it him? He's actually my best friend now, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're traveling buddies, so, you know, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a house and you didn't like have anybody with you, would you just all, all, all alone? Would you ask your friend to like take a few for flowers? Or... <laughs> I sure would, why not? <laughs> He's a cool guy. I happen to like my privacy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a no then, fine, whatever, I don't care, whatever. <laughs> Do you guys have any actors that you do, just would really love to work with? I would love to work with Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's I would it. love to work with Penelope Cruz because I'm kind of in love with her. And, uh, <laughs> it would just be a really opportunity, awesome opportunity to meet her and tell her how much I love her. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, mine's she is. talent driven. And baby <laughs> mom. <laughs> She's talented. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You do? <laughs> oh yeah, scandal. <laughs> that would be awesome. Supernatural before it ends. <laughs> I have got to be the biggest supernatural fan right over here. <laughs> I've seen all the episodes at least about three times now, and um, I love it. That's my show now. <laughs> I wanted to be on Breaking Bad, but it had to go and end it, so, you know. Oh, great I know. job. How'd you get killed by uh, Misha Collins? What? Yeah, awesome. Man. I got to talk to him. Oh, yeah, I got to get one now. <laughs> <laughs> if you do, like, if they were to you have to talk to him, buddy. I don't know. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, I have, because um, a lot of people, they research it now, and they look up to see what we really look like, and they, they can tell the difference now. So, like, I'll go down to Sonoya and, um, in the Woodbury shop, and like, I swear, as soon as I walk in, like, a line will form behind me with people knowing who I am and want to take a picture with me, and it's like, it's an awesome experience. Like, at first, I thought it was kind of an insult. I'm like, dang, I look that bad? And it's just like, no, we know who you are now, but it's cool. <laughs>
Um, it wasn't happening before, but then um, recently I just start, it started happening. Like I was in um, a barbecue restaurant. Um, actually, it was at a convention with a whole uh, a whole bunch of other people uh, with me, a, a whole bunch of other stars, and uh, about five girls, little teenage girls came up and they were like. Hey you! Out of everybody, <laughs> out of everybody, they, they looked at the zombie yeah. and was like, "You, you were in the Walking Dead." And I was like, "Yeah." And they're like, "Oh my god!" So that was really cool. That was really cool. Awesome. All right, guys, can we have a big round of applause? Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Really awesome. Thank you all so much. <laughs>